Hey, uh, we're here with uh, Pavel from uh, Loving, Loving Bits Studios, um, showing off the this war of mine uh, for finally coming to iPad, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like we released the, this, uh, I would rather say, experience than a game because game is supposed to be fun and ent entertaining, and this war of mine is very serious and it's engaging, but it may be even depressing because it pictures the the horribleness of war. And uh, after the PC launch, we are almost ready to, to make it to iPads and Android tablets. Uh, because the game is, uh, even on the visual level, fu full of uh, detail, we decided to skip smartphones, mm -hmm. in this case, because it's unable to play this War of Mine on such small screen. And we are going to, like I said, iPads and tablets with Android system. And the, and is there anything that you're changing from the PC version to to the iPad version? No, you know, luckily this time we're going one to one. So first thing is that we're tailoring a big update now on PC, which expands the experience uh, a lot. And this update will be included in day one version of the tablet uh, build uh, on, on iOS and Android. And uh, when was the case with our previous game Anomaly 2 we tried to port it one to one but yet we scaled it a little you know textures meshes objects stuff like that uh, now in current generation powerful devices we're going into one to one porting so of course we are limited to the most powerful devices yet we are doing exact port from PC version oh wow uh, control wise on PC it, it plays very easy through one click so it was really relatively easy to make it playable via just tapping on screen so it's working smooth I would say so we're bringing exactly the the same experience so we don't want to cut anything it's gonna be the same uh, obviously some people ask ask us about freemium model or something uh, we have no idea how it works and we think we would spoil this war of mine with freemium model because it pictures very difficult situation which is surviving war so there won't be any in-ups or such things it's gonna be premium that that would be yeah. kind of taken out of the experience if you it would kind of defeat yes, the point exactly. if you, you had like in-app purchases. You know, you play attentively, you attach to the characters, and then you can make things easier by by buying an in-app. That would horribly spoil the engagement, and we it, completely it would, don't want it. Yeah, it would either it would not fit, or it would either fit really well. It's like if you have money, you can survive, but that's not the point. That's not the point because this is the game which. Uh, explores the the area of serious games so the games that can uh, comment social situations politics uh, morals or, or psychology and this war of mine is a very good example because it's about how civilians suffer and what is the emotional challenge they facing when war is all around so uh, yeah so like you said we could maybe comment something else if it would be easier to survive when you pay for it But that's not what we want to show We want to show how people may go depressed, but also the beautiful things how they cooperate how they help each other This war of mine is about it. It, it somehow I read it in and I think I read it in wired.com that it puts your moral compass to a test and that's a very good sentence I, I like to use because it it got, gets to the point. So now I am controlling my civilians in the shelter in the hideout. Uh, it's it's a day phase where I need to take care of them. This is a very first playable build, so please excuse me in advance if any crashes may appear. And there is a high risk they will appear. Well, you know, it's a Un un unfinished, unfinished products have, have issues sometimes. It's a, just a, just just a rea reality of development. Absolutely, I should be able to to show to the, to to touch arcade the stable working build. I think in a four weeks from now. Oh, okay. And I will definitely do. It.
and and you know, for the people that, that you know maybe don't know this war mine like like right now you're basically just taking care of your survivors right now right yeah so this war of mine in a simple words it pictures civilians in a city under siege it's a fictional city and a fictional conflict in the background but it doesn't matter because core is that you have different civilians some good guys some bad guys some are tough some are delicate some feel for others some don't and you need to take care of them until war ends so for some gamers it's a game it's a survival game yet it has a very end when war ends you've made it mm -hmm. now i i know we, we've talked before and and you talked that you said you you wouldn't want to cut anything if apple has an issue with, with the content right do, do you have any do you have, have any worries that, that this game's content might no, absolutely. We've presented this game to, to Apple guys and they they are amazed or shocked or astonished. I don't want to say entertained because it's a very bad word in this case. Right, right. And that, that's kind of the problem with, you know, when, when you use the word game, it's the, the best shorthand we have for, inter, you know, interactive software like, like this. That yeah, you, we you know, it's not, you know... You know, as compared to, like, say, Excel, you know, this is, it's a game, but it, but you, the emotion you're trying to give is not fun. It's some kind of satisfaction of the, you're trying to provide a pr provocative, profound experience. Yeah, yeah, because uh, I, I think it's the expansion that other media went through, like movies. They, they went through simple entertaining and comedy stories into area of, uh, war, uh, love and hate, compassion, uh, movies about victims of war like uh, Platoon for example and it's pretty natural for us to perceive movies that way and games are actually exploring this area right now so this term entertaining was the only one that perfectly described good games in the past now it's a bit you know old-fashioned so to speak because games can be very compelling yet not entertaining in the uh, hardcore meaning of this word. Right, right. Right, and it gets and it gets mixed up sometimes the idea of a game has to be fun. A game doesn't have to be fun. It has to I heard you know, it, not even satis I'm, yeah, satisfying. I'm, I'm it, has, it has to do what it what it's trying to do. Yes, I'm going to steal this term from uh, I I think it was Total Biscuit who said that games no need to be fun they need to be compelling right and that's that hits the point yeah yeah i think that's a that's a good good way to put it yeah and th this is yeah, you know this is I, the kind of game that boast that uh, sorry sorry for inter yes. interrupting you but i i don't want to boast around our, ourselves that we're digging into tradition or something but if you take a look at ancient theater there was there were two distinctive divisions of theater, a comedy and tra tragedy. One was for giving you fun and laughter, and the other was supposed to picture tragedy and drama to give you catharsis, the different set of emotions to make you think through something. And this is where games are exploring the, the area right now, as a very young, relatively very young medium. So. Take a look at papers, please. Take a look at Dead Dragon Cancer. There are games tackling with very serious topics, and they are doing it better and better. Right, right, yeah, yeah. and it's been been interesting to see the, the reaction to this game. And I, I've been I've been looking forward to, to playing this one, playing playing this one on, on iPad because it's you know it's it, it seems like such a unique experience. Absolutely, I I love to give you guys the, the working builds build once it's ready. It should be really soon. I think we need two months, roughly from now, to be ready to release uh, this one of mine. All right, yeah, I'm looking 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 forward to it, and and yeah, yeah, thanks uh thanks for, for showing off the showing off the game the game to us. I'm this is the very first uh, presentation of iPad gameplay. Uh, Yet, uh, I don't want to go into the end, end day and go to night cycle because I'm certain it's going to crash. <laughs> okay. Uh, so okay. please be sure that uh, once I have more stable build, uh, I would love to present it to you. All right, yeah, this is basically just half, 
half of, half of the game, the game right, right here. Yeah, yeah. So it's just the very beginning. However, I wanted to show you that the iPad build is is already working. So we're now in debugging and fixing and polishing and and should be done. All right, great, uh, Pavel. Thank uh, thanks so much.